May the name of Jesus be praised, glorified, honored and adored today and forever in my home and everywhere. May the name of Jesus be praised, glorified, honored and adored today and forever in my home and everywhere. May the name of Jesus be praised, glorified, honored and adored today and forever in my home and everywhere. My dear friends, today, 4th August, we celebrate the feast of John Mariviani, that wonderful saint, one of my favorite saints. Today, I'm going to share with you something about his life. But right now, I shall lead you in a prayer as you focus on Jesus, a prayer of Saint John Mari Biani himself. Let us carry on looking upon Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. My Jesus, we can only be satisfied by setting our hearts imperfect as they are on you. We are made to love you. You created us as your lovers. It sometimes happens that the more we know a neighbor, the less we love him. But with you, it is quite the opposite. The more we know you, the more we love you. Knowledge of you kindles such a fire in our souls that we have no energy left for worldly desires. My Jesus, how good it is to love you. Let me be like a, your disciples on Mount Tabor, seeing nothing else but only you. Let us be like two bosom friends, neither of whom can ever bear to offend the other. Amen. Let us carry on looking upon Jesus, my Lord and my God, my Lord and my God, Jesus, my heart's desire, how I love you. Life without you is meaningless and empty. Nothing can satisfy me, Lord, but you alone, my Lord and my God. My dear friends, I would like to now share with you something about St. John Mari Viani, something to help us to become a little more like Jesus, following the example of John Mari Viani. He gives us three secrets for living. As you know, John Mari Viani, as very often we hear it, wasn't a very intelligent man, but he had wisdom, wisdom that the simple have, wisdom that the pure have. And he gives us three secrets for life. And I hope on this feast day, you make these three secrets your very own. The first thing he tells us, desire to be a saint. Desire to be a saint. My dear friends, sometimes we think to be a saint is a boring life. But we don't realize God wants us to be saints and that means to live the fullness of life. 
to be a saint means to live more than is human because now you're living the life that god wants you to live the image and likeness of god himself so saint john marie viani says to you today on his feast day desire to be a saint remember the little story that one day when john marie viani was going to his new parish at ours he did not know the way and he asked told a little boy if you show me the way to the church of ours i will show you the way to heaven and that's what he's saying to you today i will show you the way to heaven and that way is desire deep down in your heart nothing less but to be a saint that's the first thing he says but you say how can i desire what do i need to do to desire to be a saint what do i need to do to be a saint and here comes the second thing do only what can be offered to god do only what can be offered to god what does he mean by this that whatever we do when you are eating can you make it as an offering to god that means you eating the right food the right proportion the right time healthy food or if you are working at your office work as if you are working for god if you are in the company of friends enjoy the company of friends and you be the kind of person jesus would want you to be in the company of your friends have a wonderful time but in a way that even the discussion and casual chat can be offered to god anything and everything that can be offered to god do it in that way so that's the second secret the first is desire to be a saint the second how do you be a saint by doing only what can be offered to god and then comes his third secret and that is so simple making every day your morning offering now what do you mean by the morning offering we know the prayer by heart simply praying that prayer but with the right attitude all my prayers works joys and sufferings of this day i offer to you you know the whole prayer i'm not repeating the whole prayer right now so everything is offered to god and what do you give to god only what can be offered to god so whether it's your prayers pray well your works work well your joys enjoy as god would want you to enjoy your sufferings accept them as god would want to your whole day make it an offering to god three simple secrets so simple from john mari viani through his wisdom so i repeat them first desire to be a saint how do you be a saint do only what can be offered to god so do it well and third make an offering of your whole day to the lord your prayers works and joys and suffering my dear friends let us all become saints let us now turn back and look upon jesus in the blessed sacrament that jesus who saint john mari viani loved let us now focus on jesus as you focus on jesus ask him for the grace that you will never desire anything else but to be a saint i love you i take this prayer of saint john mari viani another prayer i love you oh my god 
and my only desire is to love you until the last breath of my life i love you oh my infinitely lovable god and i would rather die loving you than to live without loving you i love you lord and the only grace i ask is to love you eternally my god if my tongue cannot say in every moment that i love you i want my heart to repeat it to you as often as i draw my breath i love you my god now my dear friends as we look upon jesus let us make an offering of ourselves as john mari viani would want us to through the hymn here i am let us make the attitudes of this song this hymn our very own here i am intention and that is for the world youth day as you know right now in fatima in portugal 
World Youth Day is going on from the first, that's yesterday, up to the sixth. And there are going to be about 1.5 million youth, 1.5 to 2 million youth, all gathered together at Fatima. And Pope Francis is also going to be there. Many youth have gone from Bombay and from India, and of course, all over the world. Pope Francis believes this World Youth Day is going to leave an impact on the world. So we pray for his intention for World Youth Day, as he says. We pray the World Youth Day in Lisbon, it's in Lisbon, will help young people to live and witness the gospel in their own lives. We pray the World Youth Day in Lisbon will help young people to live and witness the gospel in their own lives. Let us storm heaven for our youth. We need our youth to be very close to Jesus. Let us bring our own intentions for anybody who has asked for prayers. Lord Jesus, you said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. To the session of Mother Mary and Saint Joseph, I bring my petition. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Jesus, you said, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. To the accession of Mother Mary and Saint Joseph, I bring my petition. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, you said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. To the session of Mother Mary and Saint Joseph, I bring my petition. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We shall now have the benediction with the hymn, Let Us Bow in Adoration.
Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant, we implore you, that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints. <laughs> 